God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise. To, to, to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, oh. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Financial fallen angels. Before you was in your mother's womb, when you were conceived in your mother's womb, rather. Financial fallen angels had one objective, to keep you from the financial anointing of the Lord. That was their main objective. They never wanted you to walk in God's financial power. They never wanted you to know what his financial power could produce. They never wanted you to understand his multiplying mantle, his multiplying ministry, how he multiplies you from the uh, realm of his divinity, how he multiplies you from the realm of his love, how he multiplies you from the realm of his loving kindness, his care. They never wanted you to get a revelation of the image of God that you carry for wealth, for riches, for abundance, they never wanted you to receive the understanding of your dominion, your faith, how your faith moves mountains. Financial fallen angels never wanted you to understand how your faith moves mountains. 
financial fallen angels, they also, they love when you don't take care of your health. And this is real powerful. They love when you don't take care of your health because when you don't take care of your health, they know that you're going to have medical bills. <laughs> they know that you're going to have visits to the hospital. You're going to have to call 911. They know that you're going to have to pay for prescriptions. They know that you're going to have to pay doctors. So the financial angels also love health decline. They, they love when you got tooth pain because you got to pay for that tooth, that tooth, that surgery on that tooth, 2000. They, they love that. Saints, this is real powerful. Financial fallen angels, they are aware of what eats money, what swallows up money. They'll have you buy something before time, financial fallen angels, because they, they want to swallow up money. They don't want money to be stewarded by the Holy Ghost. They don't want the Holy Spirit governing money. Financial fallen angels never wanted God's spirit to tell you how to manage your money. They wanted recklessness. They wanted greed. They wanted speed and weed to control the uh, activity of your money. They wanted financial fallen angels always wanted your money to pursue illegal pleasure. There's people that pay money for prostitutes. There's people that play, uh, 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 pay money for, uh, uh, what they call that thing? Lottery. There's people that pay money for drugs. There's people that pay money for, um, they pay money for magazines. They pay money for all type of things that destroy their soul, their eye gate, their ear gate. Financial fallen angels never wanted you to connect with the blessing of Abraham. Financial fallen angels are angels that used to be over God's money economy along with the minister of finances. Now they were not over him, but they used to work with him. Every financial fallen angel knows the minister of finances. They know that he exists and they know his power. They know his authority. They know his body. They know his work. They know what he can do. And they know why God trusts him because the minister of finances himself is a sower into God. Did you know that all angels sow into God? God pays angels. They have wages. They have rewards. Do, do you think, saints, God built his whole system off of a reward promise. So, so even angels get rewards. When they accomplish something in the earth, when they're working with a man of God, a woman of God, and they're able to fulfill God's plans, God gives them a payment for accomplishing their job. They're workers. Saints, do you think that the Bible said, are they not ministering spirits? They're ministering spirit. That means that they're ministers. So they get paid for their ministry. God sows into the ministries of his angels, his ministers. Financial fallen angels, they have a goal to keep you blinded from what the minister of finances do. They don't want you to understand his task. They don't want you to understand his power. They don't want you to understand his grace, his graces, his, um, his, uh, his tenacity, his perseverance, um, his ability to break through this earth realm and minister to whatever in your life is torn down, shameful, demolished. E everything where you're in debt, everything where you're in poverty, everything where you're at a financial disadvantage, financial fallen angels never wanted you to link up with the minister of finances. Now, financial fallen angels, they also, they work through different things to keep you blind to prosperity angels. They don't want you to know uh, the angelic people that God made to work for you. So financial fallen angels, they, 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 uh, they sculpture a lifestyle of financial witchcraft. So that like you, you, your, your money will always be going where God doesn't want it to go. 
you'll always be uh, in a perspective that God never wanted you to have financially. Financial fallen angels, they uh, work through making you disinterested in praying in tongues. Because when you pray in tongues, you're going to meet the financial anointing. If you take a note, write that down. If you're truly praying in the spirit correctly, you're going to meet the financial anointing. Because when God talking to you about mysteries, he's going to reveal to you the mystery of your inheritance. How he made you rich before you took on two years old, three years old in your physical body. Before you was a toddler, before you was five years old, you had a richest plan of God for your life. Now you understand why I tell you I have my daughter, Zendaya Glory Home, sowing seed. Because I'm having her unlock the financial life that is for her. The woman that sends me Jordans, she, she just sent me some more Jordans. She sends me Jordans all the time. She has her daughter, Jada. Her daughter's name is Jada. Yeah. And she's Lydia. And she has her daughter sowing seeds to me too. Her daughter is, is a toddler. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Saints, that's why we got to teach our children to build their altar early. So that when they get 20 and 30, they'll be set. When they're 18, when the devourer come to devour them, they'll be set. Those of you all that got young children, train them to sow. Well, come on, we godly parents, we got to get back on it. What's, what's up? What's up? What's up? We got to get back on it. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. Suffer them. That means that it's a suffering because they got to die to their flesh. Your child at five years old has got a flesh. Saints, I, I let Zendaya enjoy a lot of stuff. I let her enjoy stuff, but I, I, I'm still in the mode of breaking her flesh. You're like, Prophet, what do you mean by that? I don't want to introduce her to certain things. When you 30 and 20 years old and you talk about, I need to stop eating this type of food. So why you going to give them that food? You get 30 and 40, you be telling some, oh, I need to lose this weight. So why you going to pay all them pounds on them? You see, you be up there 30, 40. I need to stop on my phone all the time. So why you going to give them a phone? Don't betray your child from the very thing that you at your age is saying that you need to stop doing. So why are you giving it to them? Oh, I need to moderate my eating. But you got them eating like they are, they are horsey. <laughs> Let your child have the, the, the momentum that you're in today in wisdom. You see what I'm saying? Let them have the momentum that you have today in wisdom. Don't take them down the very route that you at the age that you're at today is trying to get off of. Financial fallen angels, they know that God has scripted a whole movie of money for your future. They know that. They know that there is an inheritance. Financial fallen angels don't want you to get to the inheritance. So they're going to work in various mannerisms of, 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 of distractions because they don't want you to enter into what was planned. Financial fallen angels, they do not want you to step into praising God. Because when you praise God, you immediately operate from the courts of heaven. You can sue financial fallen angels through praise and thanksgiving. If you take a note, write that down. You can sue 
financial fallen angels through praise and thanksgiving. When you're praising God, you could release a lawsuit into the courts of heaven. When Paul and Silas was praising God, they were suing their oppressors. When they started praising God, they offered up a lawsuit in the courts of heaven and they operated in the spirit realm to bring judgment on every spirit that was stopping their progress. When they started thanking God and praising God and giving God glory, they started suing spirits. Ah, this apostolic. You, you, ah, the glory of God is so strong right now. The glory of God is so strong right now. The power. The power of God so strong right now. They were suing every fallen angel that was not only after them while they was in jail, but was after their money. Because when you're in jail, you can't make no money. You ever thought about that? Paul and Silas wasn't making no money while they was in jail. They couldn't work. They couldn't do nothing. When you in jail, your life stopped. They can't make no money. So, so while they're in jail, there's not just an attack on their, their body today being apprehended and in prison, but it's an attack on their finances because while you're in jail, you can't make no money. Paul and Silas started suing financial fallen angels with their praise. Oh my God, that ain't never been preached before. Paul and Silas started suing demons that was after their provision, their mind, their vision, their assignment. The attack of Satan was brought into the courts of heaven. Whoa, whoa. See, see, you so is on here. You need to catch this. You so is on here. Need to catch this. Paul and Silas, their praise brought the bullies, demonic bullies, into judgment. And they sued them. They sued them with their thanksgiving, their thankfulness, their praise, their rejoicing before God. And they took those spirits into the heavenly courtroom. That's why God shook the gates that Paul and Silas were surrounded by. That's why he shook them prison bars. They came out of jail because they went to the courts of heaven. Stop trying to win these battles down here on earth concerning your finances by working flesh and blood and the flesh and blood's strategy and the flesh and blood's tactics. You're going to have to sue these financial demons. What? <laughs> you ever heard that before? I have never heard that. You got to sue the financial fallen angels that's fighting your life right now. Saints. I just heard the spirit of God say, if Adam, which is the woman, if she would have kept on praising me, she would have sued that serpent for trespassing on her property. <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. Did you hear? The Lord just said, if Adam, which is the woman, if she would have praised me, she would have kept on praising me, she would have sued that serpent 
that was trespassing on her property. See, when Jesus took the five loaves and two fish and started thanking the Father, he was suing the spirit of lack in his conference. What? What? Jesus started suing the spirit of lack in his conference. So when he started praising and thanking the Lord, when he took that five loaves and two fish, the Bible said he gave thanks. He was suing the spirits that wanted those people to stay hungry. He was suing the spirits that wanted those people not to get their harvest. Ah, Gali so nova ecclesia. Glory to God. Saints, saints, this ain't never been preached before. There's a glory surging in JHN right now. There's a glory cloud powerfully resting on you this day as you listen to this message. There is glory on your life. You, you should keep on listening to this message because the glory is falling on this message right now. When you praise God, you sue harvest hindering fallen angels. Angels that are of darkness that want to block or hold back your due season. That's why you have to talk to the Lord. When you done sowed your seed, you got to stay in the face of God. Do you know how to stay in the face of God? 